be back in just a moment with more from the Arab Media Forum. Stay with Dubai One. Welcome back to Emirates 24-7, coming to you from the Arab Media Forum here at the Grand Hyatt Hotel. We've been discussing the evolving relationship between the three screens, mobile, computer, and television. And joining in on the discussion today is Nick Grandy from Channel Sculpture and Mark Gossam from MEC. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks, Kit. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the rise of the three screens, the mobile, the computer, and the television. Do you think they'll always be competing with each other, or, or can they work together to complement each other? Mark, what do you think? Sure. Actually, uh, today they are working together. We are seeing a trend where TV consumption is also accompanied with tablet and smartphone uh, consumption. So a recent research from Nielsen showed that around 80% of tablet owners do use their tablet while watching TV. Wow. So there is definitely a potential to take that content that exists on TV and push it to, to tablet and vice versa. Absolutely. I mean, and Nick, just to bring you in, um, what, what are your thoughts then on, on the way forward for integration, particularly here to the region? I mean, what are, are the, is the Arab consumer hungry for when it comes to integrating uh, all the, the three screens? Well, first of all, just to go back to the, the general's point, it's three screens, absolutely, but there's so many delivery methods within those screens, so it's actually quite hard to, to completely separ separate. I mean, taking the BBC iPlayer product in the UK, for example, phenomenally successful and available across set-top boxes, direct to smart TVs, as well as on tablet and, and on smartphones. And so it's not as straightforward as separating them, although people are talking about mobile being the, I hate to use this expression, the Web 3.0, but like the new, <laughs> the new wave and, 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 uh, and actually leaving even the likes of Facebook and, and Google in its wake. But um, for the region, I think it's a very confusing situation for consumers. It's actually very frustrating. I mean, speaking as a, as a TV watcher, how many boxes do I need in my, uh, in my living room um, along with my tablet and so forth? And, and how do I get them all connected together? And where do I get my shows from? In, in the end, what are we talking about? We're talking about shows, not talking about equipment. So uh, people want to know, I mean, they want to be, know that they can get what they want wherever they want it. And, and uh, that a lot of the time people have to resort to uh, um, questionable routes to get there because they just can't get the content they want through uh, conventional means even. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Mark, then how do you see this integration then uh, uh, going forward in terms of obviously what you do at your company and, and for, for the region? Yes. Actually, it's all about today being present where the consumer is. It's not about uh, is the audience on TV or on tablet, vice versa. Today they are consuming multiple media. We call it multitasking. For the young generation, they don't call it multitasking because it's, it, it became a natural habit. So for example, for Land Rover Evoque, we did a webisode on NBC, on Shahid, uh, comprised of five webisodes. The audience interacted due to, uh, uh, they interacted with the director, with the actors, they interacted with the production of the content. So due to, to that and the success of that activation, we took a completely developed concept online, we took it to NBC Action. So you can really see like it's becoming a natural movement driven by the consumer. <laughs> so. Absolutely. So what needs to change in this region? Nick, obviously we have seen a lag that you mentioned compared to other parts of the world. Why are we seeing that and what needs to change here? Well, one of the special things about this region is that the television industry is, is not quite as commercial as it is in other parts of the world. Um, profit is not the one prior number one priority for broadcasters. And uh, they're in a position, most of the major broadcasters are in a position to continue um, to uh, occupy the space without necessarily going for the most effective um, means and so they tend to be a bit slower because there isn't that same mandate. I mean if you look at uh, mature markets elsewhere, it's profit that leads companies like Sky B uh, uh, or um, you know the newer entities like Google to, uh, to, to branch out into new technologies. So certainly some, yeah, still absolutely. some challenges <laughs> remain. Well gentlemen, sit tight, we'll be back with you straight after this break to keep chatting about these topics. Absolutely. So stay with Dubai One, we'll have more from the Arab Media Forum in just a moment. Welcome back to Emirates 24-7, coming to you from the Arab Media Forum here at the Grand Hyatt Hotel. We've been speaking to Nick Grandy from Channel Sculptor and Mark Hassan from MEC. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you. All right. Now, looking at the point you made just before we went to break, um, you know, to do with, with questionable means and some of the challenges when it comes to online uh, content, uh, when we're looking at advertising and people looking to put money into their advertising, uh, piracy obviously is a major issue. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well. In, and piracy is huge still, and it, and it will remain 
present for some time to come. I mean, uh, even the likes of Google um, through YouTube like have had challenges taking piracy out of their networks. But I think advertising, particularly in the Middle East, is the answer, it's the key here, because to the extent you can commercialize um, content however it's delivered, that, that uh, really helps to, to make sense so that there's no need to pirate, to, to pirate in the same way. So broadcasters, I mean, to give you an example, something like digital product placement, which is still not widely used uh, even internationally, but the ability to, to put brand in, brands onto even library content can, can completely change uh, the picture for commercial uh, application for broadcasters. We certainly are seeing the ad spending towards digital increase. In this part of the world, do you think that's because it's easier to measure, Mark, than perhaps television? Uh, it's due to many factors. Initially, when uh, digital boomed in this, in this part of the world, uh, it, it did so during the recession period. So the advertisers saw that advertising dollars moved to online in terms of cost efficiencies and, yes, uh, tracking and monitoring. Today, the shift is happening because, again, the consumption of digital content is there. So really, it started because of budget cuts and because of measurability. But today, we are leveraging the measurability and making it more related to what the audience are looking for. Nice. So really, today, it's all about created con creating content that is relevant for the audience and that sometimes is built by the audience because, uh, for example, uh, we did a Ford activation on Facebook called Ford Rab Raba. It was a cross-country rally. It was only done on Facebook with TV quality production. We saw the engagement level. We generated more than 70,000 fans in less than five weeks period. Now, because of that, because of the reaction of the audience, that might maybe, I don't know, later go into TV or, you know, have a different uh, scalability. All right. Yeah. Now, just, just very quickly, because we, we are almost out of time, but in, in a nutshell, where do you see uh, sort of media going in the next five years? Mobile. Mobile? On oh, mobile? Okay, good. And Mark, what about you? On oh, mobile as well? I think it's the conversions of mobile, tablet, and internet TV connected. This is, this is the new trend today in the States. Uh, where uh, uh, broadcasters are trying to integrate social media with TV, with tablets. And I think it's all those elements, those platforms coming together to Absolutely. bring that experience. So integration is key. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your thoughts. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. Thank you. Well, it is time to go, but please do join us again on Thursday night. We'll be taking a look at some radical new ideas about how to get more Emiratis involved in the private sector. We'll also have the latest on Dubai's brand new reality TV show, The Entrepreneur. But for now, from all the team here at Emirates 24-7, it's goodbye.